quadratic word problems, Mike launched himself off a cliff into the ocean while vacationing with some friends. His height as a function of time could be modeled by the function h t equals negative 15.2 t squared plus 18 t plus 380, where t is the time in seconds and h is the height in feet. After how many seconds did Mike hit the water? Ah! Oh, so you're facing a quadratic looking all mean and scary. It's set equal to zero, but the roots are looking hairy. Not integers is what I mean by that. You tried to factor it down, but you struck out at bat. So now you're contemplating just completing the square. You get the vertex form and solve it for x from there. But that's a lot of work. Do you think that paper grows on trees? Gotta be an easier way, like Apple over PC. So you'll flip open your textbook and read to your delight. There's a formula that you can use and everything is tight. It's one size fits all if it's in standard form. And even if it could factor, this would take it by storm. It finds both the roots with one giant calculation. It looks intimidating, but with practice it can be your friend. All you need to use it is to know your ABCs, coefficients I mean. Watch the negatives please. You make the roots clear like reacting to a sinus. The negative B followed by a plus or minus. A big square root with the B square inside it. Gotta keep that root going for you set to divide. It'll be hot like ginger root if not for AC. The numerator's done, let's move along to underneath. It's a short divisor, like the stubble on a face, like an energizer, keep it going double A. Yes. Yeah, the curriculum makes it clear, you're not required to derive it, but I'ma pop open the algebraic hood and demystify it. The general standard form quadratic poses limitations. X is hard to isolate when it lives in two locations. Get a number two pencil on a gigantic piece of paper, it's about to be an algebra drive by Dr. Cover and listen clear. You start with the general standard form equation, factor out the A from the first two terms, but move the C, subtract it out the way. When we're at it, move the A, divide to clean me from both sides. Now we're left with a fractional coefficient for x, but please don't cry. We factor down the x till it's contained in a perfect square. We need to add the square of half b over a to both sides to get there. Factor on the left and the right. Apply the power to the fraction. Common denominator action so we can do subtraction. Then combat the square, taking the root of both sides. Subtract b over 2a, put it together, and we've arrived. To make the roots clear like reacting to a sinus. The negative b followed by a plus or minus. A big square root with the b squared inside it. Gotta keep that root going for you set to divide it. Be hot like ginger root, if not for AC. The numerator's done, let's move along to underneath. It's a short divisor, like the stubble on a face, like an energizer. Keep it going, double A. Yes, when the numbers look ugly and they got you feeling blue. The equation doesn't factor and you don't know what to do. X is equal to negative B, plus or minus the root of the following B squared. Take away 4AC, then divide it on that by 2A underneath. X is equal to negative B, plus or minus the root of the following B squared. Take away 4AC, divide all of that by 2A underneath. This formula will guide you steady, follow it through. It's a method guaranteed. To deliver the roots. X is equal to negative B, plus or minus the root of the following B squared. Take away 4AC, then divide all of that by 2A underneath. X is equal to negative B, plus or minus the root of the following B squared. Take away 4AC, divide all of that by 2A underneath.